Welcome all my monsters of the internet. I'm Hanya, the monster in the fire and all that jokes. So I didn't wasn't sure about this. I heard some things about Interview the Vampire on X Twitter or whatever you want to call it uh, earlier. And I just thought they posted this. So I don't know if this is a sneak peek, a scene, or like a trailer. Actually no no, looking at the <laughs> description it says trailer. But I'm very curious to see what this is. I was very, very excited. I know we started filming again like not that long ago, so hopefully sometime soon the show will probably get dropped. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how far they're done with it, but I'm just excited. So let's watch this real quick. Take a little look. Interview with the vampire. As you Main train down hearts to. beating as one. The rumbling beast. Of the movable feast. Movable feast. Ooh. The estate of so the family are the... like all biker gangers, I guess. Kind of like um Killer from season one. And eh, eh, maybe cool. Let's see how far it goes. Whilst their countrymen clutch <laughs> Louis being a little tourist. Okay, that's not funny. Card, they've made quite a killing manipulating the black markets. Voilà. Vous êtes qui? Ah, une réunion d'amis et d'associés. Oui, mais vous avez pas la permission, non? Santiago. Oh! Il ne nous faut pas d'autorisation. Elle est à nous la propriété. Tu as de mignon, tu as. Fourteen rooms, nineteen guests. Plus the hosts. Thirteen men, eight women, and, and, and small firearms in the library bureau. Oh, I know the actor. I know the actor. He was from the um, the Exorcist TV show. Okay, I, I that's just right. He is playing Santiago in this season. Enjoy yourselves. Mm. You coming? I hate before to play. Okay. Eight before the play. Okay, so this is like a massacre. They're not even going for the party, they're just going for the food. <laughs> Ooh, Armand's not partaking. I'll feast human every other night. Mm. It's my way. You're not gonna win. I am now where I most want to be. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Nice night. Mm. Very nice. Love Armand's look. <laughs> the okay, cards behind them. Merci. <laughs> I like how you withhold. I don't know about that. Cautious, maybe. It's alluring. It's practiced. I find myself thinking, what is in there? I'm thinking the same about you. Been thinking about you often. Oh. Okay. Tricky. What's that? Us. Hmm. <laughs> life can get <clears throat> labyrinthine depths of. It can be tricky. Oh. The Claudia. <laughs> She's something, your Claudia. Spark in the dark. Pity she was made so young. <laughs> Imagine her in a body equal to her mind. She's managed to it. Particularly skilled at blocking her thoughts. Okay, so they are going over the um, someone's sort of rule that you're not supposed to make kids so young. And I like this little dynamic of them getting to know each other. You must work harder on that. <laughs> All right, go, go back, go back. <laughs> Just took his whole head off. <laughs> I could help you hone that skill. Oh, yeah? That'd be great. Good. Because I do believe I felt some trepidation when the name Lestat was uttered. Who? Uh. <laughs> He's a who? What's that? I don't know no what's that. Ain't no what's that. Never met no what's that. <laughs>
All right, so that's kind of interesting. So I'm guessing that ha that probably happens right after they meet at the theater. So, and I can't remember how many episodes they said the season is going to be. So I'm going to guess around somewhere around episode two. Yeah, I think episode three would be too long to uh get, like, too long to see, see season to get into the theater. But I'm guessing the first episode is mostly going to be Claudia and Louis going throughout Europe through the war times, maybe fighting that zombie vamp that we saw in the, in the first trailer. Who knows? But yeah, this is probably like their first conversation, them still getting to know each other. And it's interesting of uh, how Armand is willing to teach Louis how to hone himself better. Because in the novels, like I said, I don't haven't read up haven't finished all the books, but I do know a little bit what happens in the down the road. But in the books, Louis is one of the weakest vampires. Like he can't really read people's minds until like much later on in the books. But even still, he is one of the strongest vampires. He is a strong vampire. All the other vampires are like you don't know how strong you really are because Louis tries to hold so much onto his humanity. He uh, hates all his powers. He hates being a vampire. And in the second book, um, but, 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 I think I'm staring so much today. <laughs> in the second novel, uh, the vampire Lestat, Lestat says he purposely did not show Louis all his other tricks, like the mind reading and all that, because he did not want Louis to feel more disturbed and more out of touch with his new sense of reality. Which they kind of say in the first season, why Lestat never showed his, his ability to fly because he thought it would hurt the relationship. But then, still not really sure how the season's going to play out. Because they, because remember in the first season, they kept saying that um, recollection, the Odyssey of Recreation, that memory can be a monster. They keep using that phrase, memory is a monster, in the marketing. And if we are still being really close to characters, um, Armand, well, that's, like, there's a big theory that Armand is probably manipulating Louis's memories to some extent. Making his um relationship with Lestat more toxic than it really was, which would really be in Armand's character. It really would be in Armand's character. So, but I don't know if that'd be fully good for season one because um uh, it's going to reduce a lot of season one to just being um oh all this bad stuff happened Lestat was toxic oh it's just because of Armand. No no no. If they are going to do something like that, it can't be all Lestat's bad traits. It just has to be, like, one or two scenes that make, um, uh, like, one or two scenes that really broke Louis' trust for, um, Lestat. So, it really, it has to be probably the big fight in episode 5, where Lestat rages and beats Louis to a pulp. If they are going to do anything with the recreation as a monster, it's probably going to be that scene. They're going to make make it so that that fight never happened, or um, they're going to tone it down so in actual reality it wasn't as intense as Louis remembers. It was probably not that much of nothing. I don't know. I I'm tense because I want them to kind of slightly retcon it. To make Lestat more closer to it was in the books. But I also don't want a full retcon because it's going to destroy a lot of the cool moments for season one. So I'm really uh, tight on it. What do you guys think? And also, um. In her thoughts. This is part right here. So young. Maybe she was made so young. Imagine her in a body equal to her mind. She's managed to it. Now, this is an interesting um, line. So, spoilers, 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 spoilers. I'm saying spoilers. You're hearing spoilers. 
So this is your chance to exit the video and make sure you hit that like and subscribe before you do. <laughs> but um, okay, in the fourth book, there is a, a character who is, re I can remember his real name, but he is referred to as the Body Thief. Basically, he's this very talented psychic who found a way to switch his mind, uh, sw put his mind into another person's body, and vice versa. He does this with Lestat. He eventually steals Lestat's body for like a, like almost like a whole week or more. It's a crazy book. Go read it. Go read it. But I'm wondering if they're going to try to introduce that here. That maybe Armand knows a way to give Claudia an adult vampire body. That they are going to use that body gift, the body thiefing gift, to do something to Claudia. Or B, so as again, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you do not want any spoilers for the books, click out right now. Um, in the in the fourth, not the fourth book, it's one of the side stories, the vampire Armand, Armand's um, own personal backstory. So what Armand does when he doesn't kill Claudia, what he tries to do, he cuts her head off. He wants to give her an adult body as a way to make her leave Louis so he and Louis can be boyfriend husbands together. But he, what he does, he gets a female vampire, a grown female vampire, cuts her head off. He cuts um, Claudia's head off and he kind of like just mit puts the, her head to the body and hopes that it, they glue each other. Because how vampire healing works in the novels. You can, a vampire, you can cut off a vampire's arm and they just have to hold the arm back in place for a minute, and eventually the blood fuses it back together. Um, spoiler alert, it does not work, and that's one of the reasons why Claudia dies. And he just threw her in the um, in the little cellar with the son with Madeline, just to destroy them both to hide the evidence from Louis. Um, I remember right, Armand does not fully explain how it happened, or what exactly it happened did with the blood trying to fuse their bodies together so i wonder if they're going to try to bring that in here if armand's going to reveal that that's what it could be one of the big twists that armand reveals that yeah i butchered claudia to try to get for an adult body and it made fucked up majorly i just don't want them with all the changes that they're making to the show there's one change I have a feeling they are they are tempted to make, but I don't. I hope they don't do it. Is that they're gonna save Claudia? Like I said, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you not watch read the books or watch the Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt movie, the Claudia is supposed to die at the end of the story. But I don't know. For some reason, I have a feeling that with all of the changes they already made to the to the lore to the books, they're going to. Um, they're going to save Claudia. They're going to make it so Claudia doesn't die, or maybe they think that she dies and she's technically alive. Yeah, you know, she's hiding from Louis and from Lestat, or maybe just hiding from Armand. Armand knows that she's alive, but he's not telling Louis. Which it can go either way. I hope they don't do it because it really ruins the point of Claudia. She is such a tragic, tragic character. It's, you feel so much when she is destroyed in the books. I know her soul kind of comes back in later, in, in when the crossover with the witches. I haven't read that, and I'm just not quite sure what happens. I know her ghost appears briefly in Queen of the Damned. But I don't know. Saving Claudia is... It depends on how they do it. If it is really cool, that's awesome. If it's bad, it fucked up the whole story. At least to me, for the current moment of what I know is going to happen. But they, like, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we still had Hallie, um, the old actress, because we just got so attached to her. I'm not saying the new actress is going to be bad. We still haven't seen her full performance. If she's just as good as the old old girl, uh, I can't remember her name right now. <laughs> is she? I'm sorry, I can't remember their names. 
but she's just as good as the original actress. Awesome, but I don't know. What do you think? You think they're gonna be? You think they're gonna pull one on us, and they're gonna keep Claudia alive, or do you think they're gonna honor, like, say true to the novel and keep Claudia dead? Because also, how do you think all these flashbacks are gonna go in well? Because I know they cast Nikki for the season. Nikki was Lestat's original boyfriend back when he was still human. And Lestat turned him into a vampire at the, not long after he became one and it kind of drove him mad. I know Luke, Nikki has been cast for the season. So we are going to get flashbacks to um, the vampire Lestat, which is the second novel. Which I wonder how much is these other books are being pulled in here and what is actually season 3 going to be because we we all kind of thought before the first season came out that season 3 was just going to be the vampire Lestat and that's all the book was going to be for the most part I mean what the show is going to be for the most part and that'll probably take up season 3 and 4 then season 5 would be Queen of the Damned but if we're going to cover a lot of material from in, from the Vampire Lestat, I wonder how much is going to be shown in later. Like, I wonder how much Season 3 is going to be. Is this only going to be part of Lestat's backstory from him waking up? Well, I think we still don't know what Lest where Lestat is in the modern dying. As far as we know, he's already awake and just jamming out <laughs> in London or whatever. Actually, uh, fun thing, if you still listening to this part of the video, please put down in the comments below. Um, what do you think they're, do you think they're going to change Lestat's motif for uh, after he wakes up? Because rock stars aren't really a thing nowadays. You think he's going to be like a pop star? <laughs> or like he brings back rock because he's so awesome. He's so cool and sexy. He just brings back rock like out of nowhere. It's gonna be like French rap. I don't know what French rap is, but I'm kind of tempted to go listen to it after saying it. Like I'm very curious what Lestat's um thing is gonna be when he wakes up. If they're going to keep to that part of the novel, which I hope they do. This, I mean, in the novel, it wasn't that big of a deal compared to like his whole backstory i know the queen of the damn movie and the movie is hot dog water <laughs> hot dog shit he has some kind of cool things but that movie they really hyped up the whole rock star angle you know it was more or less a framing device for the actual meat of the story which was what's that's backstory in the awakening of the kasha but I, there was one uh, comment on this video I read a while ago, and I really hope they hope someone from the cast, <laughs> the writing crew, read it. That uh, Lestat's modern version of "Come to Me," the song he did for Louis, maybe that's going to be the song that wakes up Akasha. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That'd be really fucking cool, though. That'd be really cool. Okay, I'm just rambling. There's supposed to be a quick little look at that scene, but I am just rambling right now. But yeah, Interview with the Vampire is getting closer, getting closer. I am so excited. What do you guys think about this little scene? What do you think about all the dumb shit I've been rambling about? Do you have any fun theories for the new season? Please put down the comment below and let me know. And I will see you all in my whatever video I post next. Okay, catch you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There we go. <laughs> Bye.